hello everyone welcome to obs studio tutorials in this video we are going to see that how are we gonna work with scenes in obs studio so scenes are basically the uh, ability through which we can switch through multiple inputs and outputs in an obs studio recording or a streaming device so what we can do is we can set up multiple scenes that would be playing different uh, things that would be capturing different inputs for us and then we can switch between them to show different um, visual inputs to our viewers or capture the different audio inputs as well so to better understand the working of the scenes let us just set up a few scenes quickly and then i will show you how can we work with them so by default uh, go to the scene collection and click on new so that would create a new scene collection for you then uh, here in the scenes tab you will get your scene make sure at least one scene is selected then go to the sources and click on the plus icon i'm just going to make some image scenes so just click on image and click on ok now we are going to select an image file so click on browse and i have these some of the sample image files so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to select some of these files like this one click on ok and I'm just going to resize it so that it fits the screen. It's not of a high resolution. That's why it's looking like this. But it's just to show you how the scenes work. Then I want to add another scene. So just again click on the plus icon in the scenes tab. Let's name it as scene 2. And the scene 2 if you see. If I switch to the scene 2. There is a blank screen again. Because what image I added. That was added in scene 1. So again in the sources, if I want, I can add a different image. So let me just add a different image. This time it is going to be image 2. Let me browse for an image, the elephant picture. Click on OK, resize it. Something like this. So this is my image 2. Similarly, if I want to add another scene. So in the scene, I add another image. Click on OK. Uh, let me just choose this image click on ok again and resize this image so not just with images you can create different scenes with uh, maybe different visual inputs if you have different screens you can set one scene for uh, your screen recording the other scene for your webcam recording and another scene just for the audio recording this is just to show you a sample so now we have three scenes scene one scene two and scene three if you see there is a transition when we are switching between scenes so if you go to the scene transitions here is a transition if you want to cut if you want to fade so right now i've selected cut so this is happening abruptly but if i choose a fade transition then it is happening like this okay you can also change its duration suppose i want it to be a three second duration so i have changed it to 3000 milliseconds so this is how slowly my scene is transitioning from one scene to another scene so these are the transitions that you can choose let me keep the duration back to a 300 milliseconds because it's faster that way then in the scenes you can just set up anything that you want like images videos audios anything suppose you want to do a scene section like you want to set up a scene inside the scene then how do you do that just select the scene suppose i want uh, in scene 2 i want to set another scene i have already an image so just click on plus icon and here is a scene option now you can create a new scene or you can add an existing scene so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to add an existing scene that is my scene one and click on ok so this is my scene one that is uh, of a biker so i'm just going to resize it and place it here so in my scene two i have two things scene and the image right and in my scene one i have just this image in scene two i have scene one and scene two image and in scene three i just have scene three if you want to change the order in which scenes are shown you can just select that particular scene and use the up and the arrow keys so firstly the scene three would be there then scene would be there and then scene two would be there so this is how you are working are going to work with the scenes let us just also see how do we capture another device let's say we want to capture a screen recording in a scene so set up a new scene in the sources go to display capture click on ok and this is your uh, screen okay make sure your capture cursor is turned on select the display that you want to capture from here click on ok so now this particular scene that is your scene 4 is capturing your screen recording again you can go to another scene suppose in scene 1 i want to capture this uh, recording as well okay 
so i want to add a scene that is scene 4 in this and resize it to something like this okay so now in scene i have uh, the image and the capture in scene 2 i have the whole scene 1 that is the image and the capture and this particular image and uh, i can just transition between the scenes using this fade transition that's it for this video thanks for watching